So back in September, HubSpot announced that they were releasing a new AI forecasting tool. Now you can access that tool inside HubSpot to improve your forecasting accuracy. The tool looks at historical data to project future sales. The AI forecast provides an additional perspective your teams can use to calibrate and pressure test an accurate forecast for your team. The information helps to provide an overview for your whole organization, so all deals factor into uh, the tables I'll show you in a second. And now HubSpot has said that the AI can improve forecasting accuracy up to 95%. And here's how to make sure that um, you get the most accurate forecast. So what you want to do is navigate to sales, forecast, and then AI. You're going to want to make sure you're super admin in order to enable AI. And now this plan is available for Sales Enterprise, Sales Pro, Service Enterprise, and Service Pro plans. So to get the most focus accuracy, you're going to want to do a few things. Um, ideally, input deals every week and close deals every week. Um, ensure that the amounts on your deals are positive, and ideally you're going to want to have a sales cycle shorter than six weeks, but don't worry if you don't. Um, you can review the historical accuracy of the AI projections in the forecast accuracy over time table so that you can decide how strongly to weigh the AI projections against other pers perspectives like your manual forecast submissions. Now, this updates every seven days, so you'll notice that on, your first seven, on the first seven days of every month, you won't see a forecast appear under the AI tab. Um, but what it does is after the first seven days, you can get an AI projection then again, net seven days following, 14-day projection, 21-day pro 21 projection, and inspect your forecast and see why it's changed. So this tool is super powerful on its own, but what I want to show you is what it looks like when you also use it in conjunction with um, the deal pipeline waterfall available inside sales analytics. So inside sales analytics, um, if you navigate to deal pipeline waterfalls, um, you get to understand the why. We begin looking at deal pipeline waterfalls and you can see how your commit or best case or whatever terminology you're using, um, how your submissions are changing. From there, you can understand why it's changed in several ways. So you can isolate it by the team, the rep, a deal pipeline, or maybe even a product as well. You can then start to understand what deals have slipped, what deals have been pulled into future um, pipelines, into future close dates, what deals have come out of the forecast, um, what deals have been forecasted in and have been added, and what deals have been added from previous quarters, and where have the deals increased or decreased in value. It then starts to ask probing questions, and inside your sales forecast calls, you can then develop a regular cadence of saying, why do we need more engagement with the buying committee? Who is the buying committee? Do we have multiple threaded accounts? Is this deal likely to close? Um, is this deal at risk of being lost or can it be closed? And what factors influence that? Uh, have you engaged the right decision maker? Has there been any sales activity? Who else do you, your sales team need to talk to? What other material do they need to get the full picture of your product or service that you're selling? Um, is there a clear next step for this deal to be closed? And is the deal still on, close to be, is the deal still on course to be closed? So you can start to understand how that regular cadence can help you then improve your sales forecasting accuracy. Now, ideally what you wanna to get to is you can start to predict your forecast, not just one quarter, but two or three quarters in advance um, in order to build a predictable and efficient um, revenue pipeline. So good luck and enjoy.